Ruben passed his test uh, this morning. It is now 1240. Uh, we stopped at the house. We grabbed uh, the Delco, which is what I have behind me with the winch. We get to try out the winch for the first time uh, this trip. That's why I have, have specifically this trailer with us. Um, I, I loaded one partial, a little small piece of uh, partial of lumber uh, yesterday afternoon and uh, we have two more pickups to do this afternoon and actually one drop off. <laughs> we have a lot. Um, I'm trying to get up to Oregon, you guys. Uh, I have a direct customer that wants me to pick up a very special car. So uh, we're trying to get up to Oregon. Uh, it just so happened, you know, Ruben's test was, you know, whatever day. And so I had to, um, you know, we worked around running and scheduling and stuff like that so it's okay uh it's gonna be a good run you guys are gonna tag along with me uh with us with reuben and i uh, we're going together because i do have to pick up this very special car with the winch and um i didn't want to send him alone and actually i didn't want to go alone just uh just in case if i need an extra pair of hands or whatever you know you know turning this thing that this non-op car uh, so uh, we are going to go together even though yes Ruben passed his test so we are going to make this one more uh, one more trip or whatever you know so uh, t together um, and we may travel together in the future at times you know just it depends on whatever's going on so we'll see how things go with that but um, very proud of him he passed or it's decent money uh, total total is decent money each partial is you know a buck a mile so um, you know rates are not reflecting the cost of diesel right now especially in my area okay go ahead loading up the first car since go ahead since we passed the CDL test atta boy you got it straight up Rube yep 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 yeah, man. Yeah. All right. We didn't get as much recording done on this trip, but let me let me run it down to you guys. Uh, the tarp piece is a little bit of lumber, a little lumber partial, four thousand pounds. It is <laughs> it is uh, going to Portland out of SoCal. It's a nine hundred dollar bill, uh, and I got them to go up to that. They didn't even want to give me that, you guys. Diesel prices are killing me in California right now. If you guys, please, if you're coming into California, fuel before you get here and make sure you're making really good money while you're here, just on the principle, whether you fueled in another state or not, coming in here right now is a wreck. And I, like I said, I have not seen the rates catch up. So it is what it is. This is uh, two spas, uh, $1,100 bill going up to Squim, Washington. And then I got my little car here. Thank you, Matt. Matt reached out to me. He's like, I got a customer with one single car and I can't service them. You know, can you do it? I was like, where's it going? It's going to Oregon. I'm like, dude, I'm trying to plan a load to Oregon right now. <laughs> I'm looking for a car right now. It just worked out perfectly. Matt, big shout out to you. Thank you so much. A thousand dollar bill. So 911 is 2000 and another thousand here. This one is also going to, actually it's going south of Portland, uh, which is nice. So this will be our first drop. The spas will be our last drop and the uh, lumber at the front of the trailer will be our second drop so we're bumping off the car first I'm gonna be looking to replace it with another car <laughs> as we make our way north so far we're at 3,000 um, so excited Ruben passed he's done he's 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 completed he's like so thrilled um, thrilled to be um, you know potentially out on his own and and uh, getting this training this training portion of of, uh, of his life over with he's so happy to be done with uh, Ruben up? Are you so happy to be done with the training? I'm so happy. And parking maneuvers? I'm certified. Certified. Class A. You're a class A. CDL holder right here. That's right. It's possible for anybody. Nice. If I could do it, anybody could do it. That's right. Well, I'm very proud of you. All right, so we're gonna probably make this one of our last, <laughs> one of our last runs together, and um, we're gonna make the best of it. Uh, hopefully, I don't hit snow. Hopefully, I don't. Uh, <laughs> have to put on chains hopefully hopefully I don't hit a snowbank we're just waiting for paperwork right now and uh, we're heading north guys I'm telling you it's 
crazy. Came up to Bakersfield, uh, almost on E, and I was like, let's go to my, my truck stop, my truck stop, you know, cheaper diesel. Nope. 609, you guys, 609. recording equipment in the she beast and half of it with me so you guys forgive me you're not gonna see a lot of beautiful scenery uh, we just got we're about a hundred and 110 miles over the border into uh, Oregon we're about 80 miles from this car drop-off and I did find another car to replace it with to go with us up to uh, Washington uh, about a buck ten, buck ten a mile, uh, two hundred and seventy-five dollar bill, and uh, we're gonna drop off this car, Matt's car, and go about I think it was eleven or twelve miles down the road and pick up. I think it's a BMW X6. Ruben's uh, just walking back to the truck. We're gonna have a little snack and uh, get back on the road. All right, drop off number one. Here we go. You're okay. She's a bungee. Well, hold on, hold on. Let me fix it real quick. All right, you're good. You're good. You're good. Slow. Go ahead. Go ahead. Nice. All right, here's paper. So we dropped off the little Ford Fusion. 12 or 14 miles, I think it showed on the GPS. We're here at uh, Copart picking up a uh, BMW X6, like I told you guys. I think we're in Eugene, Oregon. I don't even know. Uh, so Ruben's just repositioning the trailer so we can load it up. We already checked in. Probably more than likely they'll load it on for us. That's usually how it works here at Copart. So my extra little $275 bill pays for, helps pay for some of this ridiculously expensive diesel. Oh, he's already ready for us. He was waiting on us. Let me zoom, zoom in. He's gonna load it from the rear. here at Copart Eugene. You guys take note of that. <laughs> good morning, good morning, good morning everybody. All right, so we got the same stuff. We just got to our drop, uh, the pallet, or excuse me, the lumber here at the front of the trailer. <sighs> I'm gonna start unstrapping it. Ruben's checking in with the receiver here in Portland. And I don't know, I've been, I've been booking, <laughs> I'm, I'm booked into, I think the middle of April right now, pretty much, um, you guys. I don't think I've ever been booked out this far got some um some long trips uh i'm planning and i'm in the process of planning so i'm like i'm booking loads for next week you know i'm getting soft plans for the following week after that like it's just <laughs> it's crazy but um we're we're gonna start unloading all of these pieces right so we're gonna we're gonna unload the lumber first and then we're gonna head into uh washington and drop off the x6 uh, the guy you know he rolled it off pretty fast and um you know 
I don't have all my recording equipment, you guys. So <laughs> I was busy. Uh, Ruben and I were untarping and everything. So I didn't tell you, but this one little pallet was supposed to deliver to um, like North Los Angeles area for one of my DCs. Yeah, I didn't make it in time. So the pallet's gonna travel. Tra <laughs> the pallet's supposed to go to LA, and it's you know it's going 1,100 miles up to Washington, and then 1,100 miles back with us. Hopefully, we don't have to move it around anymore, but. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Leaving Oregon, entering Washington. Here we go. We got about another 250 miles to go. All right, we're here. Ruben's gonna unstrap it and uh, gonna offload the X6, my little $275 bill. guys have missed a lot of beautiful scenery because I was not prepared on this trip. I think we should just haul out some really nice um, beech wood so at least we could have some cool wood at the house since we're not since we're not finding a load. <laughs> hey we could do whatever we want. It's always legal, yeah. Is it legal? Shit. <laughs> Beautiful. I want to go. There's shells. Yeah. I need shells. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. I need to pick some shells, guys. That's the last of my load. And it's low tide right now. Now the camera doesn't do it justice. Guy came out in a quad. He went all the way down to the water. Alright, last delivery. They weren't ready for it. They didn't know they were supposed to have somebody available to offload the spas so then we waited for a guy a guy came now the forklift does not work <laughs> so they are uh, swapping the battery out hopefully we can get this off very soon I booked one van you guys I booked one van oh, about 150 miles I think south of Portland for $1,100 uh, going right into my backyard um, very nice paying van for the miles and I didn't find anything. I didn't find anything else out of Washington. Didn't find anything out of Portland, both cars and freight. Um, I mean, there was cars, you guys, there was cars, but you know, I'm not gonna haul a truck or a van or even a car for that matter out of the Washington, out of anywhere in Washington for, you know, seven or $800. So we're gonna pick up that van tomorrow morning, you guys. And uh, we are going to head south without anything else. I just booked a truck, and, and that one goes pretty much right to my backyard too. So backhaul, we're talking $1,600 up, $3,275. And um, hopefully I have two dry runs, um, but I can't tell you about those yet because the brokers are still working on them. So uh, hopefully I have two dry runs, so that could make the up trip a little bit uh, beefier. But $3,275. Yeah, going up and, hi Riven, and uh, $1,600 coming down. I was hoping for 23 at least. <laughs> 
So. part. 